hey guys welcome to the channel if you're new welcome back if you've been here before today we have sort of a controversial topic i'm going to show you this cat you've seen in the intro this place is overrun with cats some of them are handleable most of them are completely feral some are semi-feral which means you may be able to touch it but you can't pick them up now, this is a guy that's been trying to manage his cat population for a while we've been here before a couple of years ago um, we had to utilize a lot of cats, we rehomed a few, we sterilized a bunch, but just two cats got away that time and now he has almost a hundred cats on the property. See for yourself. So this video is about feral cat management and what can happen from feral cats. Um, you can see this one here. Most of these cats are very sickly. They have signs of feline hopis virus, feline calisi virus. They are covered in fleas. They're actually well fed because the guy has been feeding them and the thing with feral cats is as long as you feed them they're going to keep coming back and then they're going to bring more cats and they're going to make more cats so we're going to try to attempt a mass trapping today i've got about 30 cats so far um check out the video for yourself let me know what you think the traps are out again one two i only bring six traps today but let's see Let's see what they hold. Um, I think these traps are gonna get a lot of work. It's meant to be a lot of cats here. By the time you're seeing this, you know where I am. The trapping cats. Let's go. Cats. Ooh. That's a lot of cats. Okay. If you want to rehome one of these cats, let me know in the comments. I figure we get about 30 of them today. Oh yeah. Especially those little ones. Like this one here. Definitely. Some of them are friendly. Okay, not friendly. This is a cat trapping video. So live cats will be trapped in the video. If you would consider this to be graphic, your discretion is advised. All trapped cats were sedated by a licensed veterinarian using an appropriate anesthetic protocol. Feral cats are prolific breeders and their population can explode significantly if left unmanaged. In this situation here, we had a farmer who had a few cats on his property and he kept feeding them so they kept reproducing. I've been out here a few years ago, we trapped I think maybe 20 to 30 cats, sterilized a whole bunch of them, rehomed a few. We had to euthanize some of the sick ones and after a few years it got out of control again. You can see some of these kittens have signs of feline calisi with feline hoppies virus. The eyes are barely opening, their nasal discharge, ocular discharge. Feline hobbies, feline calisi virus. You can see the eyes are all closed. She's gone. If you look good, you can see. They all have runny noses. Discharge coming from the eyes. All the signs of feline calisi virus. Also probably feline hobbies, FIV. When you have such a massive amount of cats, you'll have a proliferation of diseases. Not to mention the impact it will have on the biodiversity. You can't hear a bird tweeting. These cats would have decimated the wildlife population. The scarring on the face, ulceration on the nose. We'll have a closer look of some of them. So many cats. Some of them are really healthy looking. Remember, if you want to adopt a cat, let me know. There's at least 60 of them here. 
we're gonna sterilize the um, LT ones from the sickly ones unfortunately we're gonna have to euthanize them one cat can soon become 1000 cat in a couple of years you can see that some of these smaller cats are approachable but you just can't get close enough to them um, they're semi feral some of these do have the opportunity to be rehomed if you see one that you'd like let me know in the comments this clip here is really interesting because if you look closely you'd see five different life stages of cats here there are the full grown adults there's sub adult that just run after like a new one kitten that doesn't look more than six weeks old there's another kitten that looks like around 12 weeks old and one that might be around eight nine weeks so so many different cats another cat jump by that could be two three years old in a situation like this there's definitely a need to implement population control methods so if you haven't seen my mongoose trapping series you should probably go check it out but i'm using the same set of traps that i use for the mongoose trapping um, i have three different designs they're all folding traps, these, you have to put them back together. There's a lock mechanism, so the back don't chase off a trigger mechanism as well. Pretty straightforward to put together. Um, the big trap can actually hold a dog, this one here. Dog or a cat, a dog, even as small as a mongoose. The smaller ones would probably only do a mongoose or a cat. The smallest thing I've caught in one of these traps was a rat. So it's fairly effective, fairly sensitive, really good on safety. The largest thing I caught was a dog. Um, this one here, I had it for nine years and it's going strong. Some of the new ones are a bit softer, so they're already falling apart in less than a year. So let's see. I don't know what I'll choose going forward, but I have to restock and trap soon. I wanted to leave this clip in its entirety so you have an idea of how many cats there are on the property. It doesn't show all the cats, but just in a few seconds, you can see so many. Now let me tell you this, try to count how much cats you see passing by, you may need to pause the video. But if you look really good, you'd see probably 50 or 60 cats at least. And there's some outside that did not come in at that moment. Um, there was some on the other side looking at me, there was some behind my back. So I think there's at least 100 cats on the property. There could be at least 120. But from what I've seen, it's around 100. Uh, it's probably going to take two or three trapping sessions to get them all caught. But... We're definitely going to do it. So expect an episode 2 to this one. Let me know your thoughts. Do you see any one of these cats there that you might like? You want to adopt? Um, some of them may be adopted, but most of them will not be. When you trap them, you'll see they get very violent. Um, they're used to being fed, so they come close to human for uh, feeding time. But they're not really used to being handled. Um, but yeah, if you want to adopt a cat or you know somebody who wants to adopt one of these cats, a healthier one though, not one of the sickly looking ones. You can see some of them, they are really bad. A lot of nasal discharge, a lot of ocular discharge. That's the eyes. Look at this one here. She's really bad looking. Um, there's some that looks a lot healthier, but some really poor doing. A lot of feline herpes and Khaleesi virus are wrong. But yeah, if you know someone who wants to adopt one of these cats, just let me know. Leave a comment. Um, there's definitely going to be enough to go around. Using a different bit today. I mean, most of them are approachable, but you can't pick them up. I've already got two in this trap. Let's just set these two traps. Look at this cute little one.
will not be easy in the beginning. It's definitely a lot of cats. See, I already have some in the traps. The others are there. Waiting. Let's see. Crazy. He said there was a hundred cats, but I did not believe him. It has to be a hundred cats. You saw that cat trap walk first time. Let's go process some. Look at this cute little one, but you can see by his eyes and nose has a feline hoppy virus, feline calisi virus. Very much diseased. It's coupling the traps, couple more around the traps. And in a what you call a um, extreme cat environment. Have you ever seen so many cats before? Traps are food. It's a cat everywhere. Man, it's a lot of cats. Even I did not expect it to be so many cats. They're all just waiting. So I'm going to show you two really young cats. They're both sedated. Look at their mouth, their nose, and their eyes. You can see significant ocular discharge, nasal discharge. There's actually ulceration on the mouth. Its eyes is barely opening on its own. Um, these are strong signs of feline hoppies and Khaleesi virus. And sometimes it comes together and it gets really bad. Kittens this age would have a reduced growth rate, would have a lack of appetite, and can even die as a result of complication caused by these viruses. Hey, big fella. Hey, big fella. Five and six. Let's see what they look like. So much more to go. Six and six. We already have about 14, 15 cats trapped. That's just a dent. Ouch. I was just attacked by a cat. So they are calm now. Gonna sedate them. We can process them. What? More cats just keep coming. This one has not been sedated as yet. He just scratched me on the toe. Remember, if you want a cat, we're going to rehome a few. Let me know, there's loads of cats left here. I've got about maybe 20 something so far. Could be 30. But there's loads more. Additionally, you might see me up in the corner of the screen now. Um, so I'm using the same traps. If you've seen my Mongo strapping series, you would know you would have seen some of these traps before. It's actually really good traps of Mongo's cats. You can even catch a small dog in the big trap. I'm using a, a bit, it's one typical food, rice and fish if you're gonna try to trap a feral cat. Something that smells really well is good for them for trapping them. I'm looking at the cat going by my trap right now. You can see from the beginning they were all running up to the traps. They hold the food alarm, they're ready. Now that we've got the first 20 or so. The others are a bit skeptical. Now is when the real trapping techniques will come in. I'm gonna to have to move the traps a little bit further away. I'm gonna to have to get away from them, give them some privacy. But yeah, feral cats, now one cat, there there was actually a formula back in the days with um, how fast can a cat multiply? And there was a multiplier in one year, one cat can lead to like 1,200 cats if left unchecked, and that is true. The good thing is um, some of these cat population are what you call self-limiting because the cats will kill each other. They will compete for food. They will kill each other. 
And a lot of the young ones would be born with disease, congenital abnormalities. We saw a few that had closed eyes, a lot of discharge around the eye and the nose, which is common for feline calici virus, feline hoppy virus. So a lot of infections going to spread around here. Um, if there was a pregnant lady, I would tell her don't come anywhere close to this place because cat tapeworms can affect the fetus in the human butt, in the human belly. Uh, but yeah, it's a lot of different cats. Check it out. Um, let me know in the comment. It's really controversial. How do you manage feral cats? Do you euthanize them? Do you spay and neuter and release them in a different location? Do you try to rehome them? Um, the guy did call the local animal shelter. He had no luck with rehoming these cats. So now we have to step in. Um, let me know what you think. Leave something in the comment. Like the video if you like it. Yeah, it really matters. Thanks again for supporting the channel. Um, subscribe if you haven't as yet. Have a look. I think I'm going to catch 50 cats today. That's my plan. I'm just on 30. 20 more cats. The 20 cats will be harder than the first 30. So let's see. I'll tell you how much I got in the end. Still out here. Another tree. Big ones are coming now. Remember, if you want to adopt a cat or a four, let me know. I will sterilize and vaccinate it for you. Feral and semi-feral cats can be a big problem. These all stemmed from two cats. They calm down pretty fast. Another double. I think it's the fourth or fifth double. Maybe the fifth double of the morning. Easy there. Let's not stress them out too much. Let's have a couple more down here. These are two females, you can see them by the calico color. They're starting to stress. Let me go process. You can see some of these little ones whose oh, eyes are all closed down. That's feline calici. Feline hoppies. Normally have ulcerations in the mouth. Just look at it. Remember, if you want to adopt a kitten, leave a comment here. Yeah? Couple of small ones like this. Easily able to be domesticated. Let me know. It's really poor looking, but it'll be all right. Remember, there is more to be adopted if you want to adopt a kitten.